Hello and welcome. Today is Tuesday. It is the third day of February 2015. My name is Derek and welcome to today's silver chart video, which we'll take a look at today's daily chart shown on the screen. I'll uh, move in towards the uh, U.S. Canadian Cross for a quick update. And on the weekend, I did a preview for Super Bowl 49. There was one game or one bet I was concerned to be fixed. Well, looks like that was my best prediction of Super Bowl 49, a bet that was fixed. I'll explain it at the very end of this video. So let's start within this silver daily chart. You had this big move, major down uh, red candle that uh, went well below the 18 average, 18 average flattening out. So therefore, for me to consider this to move into a bear market, it needs to break the established support, which is roughly in that 16 uh, and two thirds. And when we look at this even further, today's move came right up to this previous support or level, thus being resistance. So it's clear that this would be the lower high if, of course, it could break down below here, thus making a lower low. It could still find support in this area and go up further, but you could almost call this very much neutral at this stage and will remain neutral until it either breaks below here or breaks above the resistance of around 18 and two-fifths. So that's the key status within this chart. Let's now take a look at the U.S. Canadian dollar index. I haven't updated it since the year end of 2014, which ended the year at a difference of 16.2% or $1.62. Since that point, it's gotten up to a buck twenty-seven, and it's currently at a buck twenty-five. Why is this important as far as chart analysis is concerned? Well, you are at an area where resistance was very probable. On the situation where it's not, one of the more likely events is a fast move towards the upside. Even though I'm not showing you the green candle, that's exactly what has taken place so now i'm looking for the high to at least be reached of 130 breaking above that the only level i can remember was when i was younger we'll say the year 2000 buying canadian money i'm like holy crap 60 percent so that's what i round the 2000 level happened to be now as far as the super bowl bet that was what i consider fixed and i was I put a video out the morning of the Super Bowl stating the length of the national anthem, which was in at 121 seconds. I even heard of a line at 122 and a half seconds for the over-under. I was concerned for it to be fixed. There was three channels that were all talking big on the under for amazing reasons, but I just... Didn't believe it. So as I was watching the game, I did notice that in the pregame show, there was a clock in the stadium counting down to kickoff. So I realized that when the anthem started, the, the singer would know, okay, for me to go about two minutes and four seconds, which was exactly the length of the national anthem, I would have to finish it at this whatever time because if there's like 14 minutes and 7 seconds left, I just got to make sure it says 12 minutes and 3 seconds left. So what I did is I looked at the second hand of my clock as I'm watching the anthem. And if you go late into the anthem as it was finishing, I noticed two things. Large amount of dragging the final uh, few seconds out. And I also looked at the singer's eyes. It seemed as if she was looking at a stadium clock. Now, if you go on the internet and you type in uh, National Anthem Rigged, National Anthem Fixed, betting odds and stuff like that, sportsbook.com, amongst others, shut the betting off of this uh, minutes before the start of the National Anthem as a large amount of bets were being placed within the over. I also watched an interview from the National Anthem singer beforehand. Oh, and just by listening to what she says, yeah, it seems to me she 
knew it was set up. It was her job to uh, make it go longer. Obviously, she would have been paid to do such. And I even found out later on, uh, on Monday this week that uh, she was raised in a gambling family. So I predicted this one pretty well. I hate to toot my own horn, but it seemed obvious. It was the best Super Bowl prediction that I made because I was backing Seattle that game. And the final play call, haha. <laughs> I'm with everybody else on that. I'm going to predict that the uh, game will be called the final play or the final play call when people look back at the NFL's greatest games. That will be what the game is called. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.